Hi folks, this is with Bohemian. This is uh, my first video of the new year, so uh, first happy new year. And I thought of showing you all my manga I got in the past three months, which were mostly manga in uh, French and Japanese and also a little bit in English and in German. What you see on my table are uh, all my manga except the ones in French, because I wouldn't have uh, really space on my table. Uh, in total I got around 180 manga yeah I thought of just you know doing a, a kind of uh, vlog style and uh, to show you all what I got right now first uh, let's start with the manga in English which would be that pile here so um, I apologize maybe for the uh, sound quality and also uh, the uh, video quality. I try my best here. Uh, first I got Black Paradox by Junji Ito. So I haven't finished reading that one. Um, I actually uh, liked it so far. And the pictures, uh, I mean the art style is always great of Junji Ito. Then I got uh, a diary of a male porn star, the first volume. Uh, this one was a really fun read, I enjoyed it. Uh, if you are interested to learn a little bit about the Japanese porn industry, this is a must read, that was a fun one. Then I got uh, the further volumes of um, When Will Ayumu Make His Move, volume six and also volume seven. And then I got the fourth volume of Frieden, now uh, this one I'm still a little bit behind, I think I'm uh, at the end of volume 2 or beginning of volume 3, so I don't really remember the details from the story where I uh, left, but uh, this is a, a still a, it's a great fantasy series and I'm looking forward to reading that one. Then I got just uh, three days ago Avant Garde Yumeko. The latest volume by Shudo Oshimi, or let's say the latest English release, because this is an older work by uh, Oshimi Shuzo. And finally in English I got Red Flowers by Yoshiharu Tsuge, which is a classical Gekiga style manga from the 1960s, but it's a stort story collection by Tsuge. And I'm also looking forward to read this one. At the end there is also a long essay um, about uh, Yoshiharu Tsuge, who was a really influential manga artist. Then I got uh, the first seven volumes, well, the totality of uh, Das Lied der Lemmer, which in Japanese is called Hitsuji no Uta by Kei Tome. Uh, this is a drama, a seinen drama, which came out in the early 2000s in Japan. I got the Japanese release a long time ago and I was lucky to find the whole set here, the whole seven volumes in German. And they were published in the mid 2000s by uh, Tokyo Pop Germany. And so they are in a, actually a rather good condition and I was lucky to get the whole set for around 30 bucks. I really like also the cover artwork. So that's volume one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. These are the further volumes in German I got in the past three months. This is the first volume of My Senpai is Annoying by Shiromanta. And it's an uh, interesting, funny rom-com. The quality of the paper is also good and the translation is well done. Then I got the first volume of Honey and Clover Used. I uh, got this one because uh, I'm missing my first volume, which I got more than 15 years ago. So I was lucky to find this one used uh, for a good price. This is a really great, great uh, seinen uh, comedy drama. Love it. Then I got uh, volume 4 of Ab Sofort Schwester, which will start uh, be an anime starting, I think, this week. This was actually a uh, crowdfunding. Well, this was actually a manga which came out uh, thanks to crowdfunding, I mean. I also uh, crowdfunded it, and my name is published in the back, which is really great. Then um, I got the third volume. Yes, the third volume of Boys Abyss. This is a great seinen drama by Ryo. Minenami. I think she's the author of Scum Swish. Then I got the whole set of Spice and Wolf. I got this one used, the set I think for 40 bucks. 
and uh, Spice and Wolf, I think some of you know the anime. I never really knew the anime well, I've seen a couple of episodes, but I like uh, the dynamics between uh, this, uh, the main guy and the heroine, um, Holo, I think her name is, she's actually a wolf. And I like the art of the manga so far, I've read the first volume. Keito Kome is actually an anti-artist for, for those who are interested in to read the manga, just to let you know there's a lot of nudity. Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, 4, 5, this looks just really great, the red color. Six, seven, and volume eight. The manga's not finished yet, I think, in Japan. I know there are at least 16 volumes out, and they are all also out in German. And finally, I got the whole set of Osamu Tetsuka's Adolf. This is a really great seinen drama. One of the best manga Tezuka has ever drawn and written. So uh, I got the whole set for around 30 bucks or 40 bucks, which is a steal considering that the original volumes were uh, about 20 bucks a piece in German. So this is volume 1, then volume 2, 3, volumes 4, and finally the last volume, volume 5. It's also published in uh, English. It's a really great seinen manga. Good, so and now let's move on to the Japanese manga, which I'm pretty sure interests a lot of you watching this video right now. Um, I think in total I got 47 manga in the past month, or it, was it in November, back in November. I have talked about uh, four of those manga, some of the manga are a continuation of older series I started and some are brand new. For example here are some shonen manga and this is the first volume of uh, Kuroiwa Medaka ni Watashi no Kawaii ga Tsujinai which is called uh, Kuroiwa Medaka is proof against my cuteness. That's a cute rom-com about uh, a schoolgirl who transferred to Tokyo from Osaka. She's very popular at her school and every boy is smitten by her, loving her, except this guy here. This guy keeps telling her not to approach him. The reason is because he is tr in training to become a monk, uh, which she doesn't know because he's uh, training to become a monk. He doesn't want to be uh, seduced by earthly desires. Uh, this is a cute, cute rom-com. It's well drawn. There's a little bit of fan service, but uh, it's, it's totally acceptable for this kind of manga. It's a fun manga and I will continue to read this one. Then I got the first four volumes of Shuzo Oshimi's um, Okaeri Arisu. I think uh, it's also out in English. I've started to read the first volume. I really like it. Um, the art style is great as always. The story is interesting. Uh, this is about a group of three childhood friends. This girl on the cover is actually a boy. And in high school he decided to just dress, dress as a girl and he's trying to seduce his childhood friend, the boy I mean. It's a drama. And as always with Shuzo Oshimi, there's this uh, kind of suspense. I like it and I'm, I'm really curious to see how uh, the story will develop. Then I got uh, a whole set, uh, all five volumes of Showa Otome Otogibanashi, which is uh, by the same author who drew Taisho Otome Otogibanashi. This is um, hmm, a drama taking place in the early 1930s with some recurring characters from the earlier series and some new main characters. It's a drama, uh, the main girl uh, and the main boy, they have a, a bit a spicy relationship. It's a bit different from Taisho Otoki Banashi, uh, the, the I mean the early work, which was cuter, uh, a bit more innocent. This one is a bit less innocent. So volume one, volume two, three, four, and the last volume. Then I got the first two volumes of Oishi Kohi no Irekata and this is a slice of life romance series with great art and actually it's in full color. Story 
I've read the first volume, I think one or two months ago, I can't really remember anymore. It's basically the story of this, uh, I think he's in high school or a young student and he falls in love with his childhood friend who is uh, an older girl and she's working in a co coffee shop and uh, there's not, it's not very clear if she's in love with him or if she's actually in love with the owner of the coffee. The art is interesting because it's all in color. I got this one because I was intrigued by the cover. And then I got the first three volumes of Ari Sanchino Iroribata. This is uh, also a seinen romance manga. And I got this one because I was very intrigued by the art when I saw it online at the cover art. I think there's no translation in English, also not a scanlation. Um, so uh, the art is great, I love this. It's basically a similar premise like the manga I just showed you before. It's about a high school boy and this, this lady here. They are uh, also childhood friends. She's living in an older traditional uh, house, Japanese house, and there's this fireplace. You know, it's a slice of life rom-com. There's actually not that lot of comedy. The art is great, I like the art, it's quite detailed. Okay, let's do a bit of speedrun here. So first I got uh, Boku no Kokoro no Yabai Yatsu Volume 7 and also the special edition which contains this time a small novel, which is surprising. So uh, this is one of my favorite rom-coms. I'm enjoying uh, reading this one since at least three years and it will be an anime starting in April. Then I got the first volume of Tsugumi Senpai no Skiva Chotto Hen, which to be honest with you guys was a rather difficult for me to read not because of the content but because uh, how it is written so it is for me this was a rather difficult Japanese then I got Hira Yasumi volume 1 by Shinzo Keigo this is a great slice of life seinen manga um, I think it came out Big Comic Spirits. Yeah, I really like the lineup of Big Comic Spirits and this one um, this is an interesting read uh, it's basically uh, the story of this guy, he's inheriting a house, I think, from an older lady who passed away and then this girl comes to live with him. They look like children here, but they're actually not children, they are uh, adults. The art style is also great, uh, you can immediately tell that it's by Shinzo Keigo. He has this uh, individual art style, I quite like it. There is also another manga in French out by him, it's, it's called Mauvais Herbe in French. So this is currently running in Japan, it's not finished and I think it got a prize. Uh, it's a really well, uh, really great manga. I got the first volume of Watashi no Musuko ga Isekai uh, Tensho Shita. Boy. It looks like my son got uh, reincarnated in another world. Uh, this is... is it that a rom-com? I don't know, it's like a mix of uh, comedy, drama, well the mother who is looking for her son. Uh, she's not really sad somehow, but she's looking for her son, which she believes is reincarnated in another world. And then she gets in contact with uh, one of her former classmates, who is an otaku and who knows a lot about uh, isekai manga and stuff. And then I got uh, Yose no Okiyaksama, the atelier for fairies. This looks like it's a huge uh, Jose manga, which is actually not, It's I think it's a seinen manga, but anyway it has a look of a Jose manga, a cute fantasy story of a woman who is uh, making uh, dresses and get, gets the help of a small fairy. Haven't read this one yet, but I was intrigued by the uh, cover art, so I got this one. Then the same with Sugoi, uh, Toshi Sa Fufu no Hanashi, I think. Yeah, so basically this is a story of a dude in his early 60s together with uh, an elf. She looks young, but you know elves. Uh, yeah, uh, he's 60 and she's 560, so it's, it's this kind of rom-com. I've started to read it, but uh, wasn't quite convinced about it. 
yeah, they're already married. That's the, that's the whole joke. They are a married couple. Then I got Oshikake Gyaru no Nakamura-san. This is one of these rom-coms with a Gyaru as a protagonist, so this Yankee girl. Uh, this one looks like it's chock full of fan service, but it actually hasn't that much of fan service and it's rather a cute story. The art style is also okay-ish for this type of manga, for this type of rom-com. I liked the relationship between the main guy, he's a student and she's also a student, so they're not in high school. Keiken sumi na kimi to keiken zero na ore ga otsukiai suru banashi. This one is also a rom-com and this one I was also pleasantly surprised. So basically it's this dude who starts to get out with the most popular girl in his school. Uh, she's actually quite experienced also um, when it comes to sexuality and so on. He isn't. but there's a lot of rumors about her like she's supposed to be a slut and so on which is not true so he starts to learn her more it's a manga which also debunks some myths about girls and yeah, this was an interesting read the art style was also okay then i got the first volume of keaku shimai contract sisters this is a yuri manga i have not read it yet so i cannot say anything meaningful about this one uh, you know, I just saw the cover online and I was intrigued and it's a Yuri manga. I like Yuri manga, not all of them, but I like them usually, so I just got it. Then I got Atashi no Senpai, which is also a Yuri manga, but more in the way of a drama. This one, I picked it up not just because it's a Yuri manga, but because I know the uh, artist Shioya Teruko. She did some interesting slice of life uh, romantic, well drama, more drama, dramedies. And uh, she has a quite simple art style, rather simple, but it's effective. Then I got some uh, bigger sized manga volumes. Uh, for example, I got a Butsu Girl. Basically, this is a manga for uh, nerds of Buddha statues. She's a nerd and she drags along this other woman into uh, some some uh, quests for uh, discovering the interesting Buddha statues in Japan. They're traveling in Japan. Uh, this looks like it's a four comma manga, but it's actually not. It's, it's a you know normal continuing story. Then I got Arigato Kinomade no Kare. This one I was intrigued by the cover art and I've read it and this is uh, a, re a real drama. So uh, this is actually the real story of the mangaka. She was betrayed by her fiancé. This really harsh story. It's just one volume. Yeah. Then I got Chariko about uh, well, a girl who discovers uh, cycling. I do cycling, I like cycling. I've read this one a bit and to be honest with you guys, it's boring. It's technical, but uh, you know, uh, there needs to be more than just technical things to get me attached to manga. This is just one of these single volume mangas for nerds who really want to have some cute girls explaining the stuff they already know, so anyway. One finally, uh, the biggest size volume is uh, Benitsubaki uh, by, by Takahashi Hirona. And this is, uh, well, you can tell by the cover, it's quite interesting. This is actually great. It's an excellent manga with many short stories, highly erotic. She's a kind of um, journalist and she gets in touch with many Japanese spirits, yokai, which all have the shape of erotic women. So this to me was a pleasant surprise and it is published by Enterbrain. It's one of the Enterbrain manga, so I don't know if it's comic Harta. Yeah, uh, this is a really, really great manga. I got volume 1 and volume 2 of A Sinner of the Deep Sea. This is a seinen drama, well it's a fantasy drama. Imagine um, Ariel, the mermaid, but for adults. Um, the main character, she's actually the best friend of the mermaid who falls in love with a human which is totally taboo in the mermaid world. Uh, she has to go to prison 
and her best friend helps her to escape so that she can meet again the human she's in love with. Uh, the art of this manga is absolutely fantastic. I'm loving it. This is just a really great seinen manga with a lot of very interesting details. When they are living underwater, um, the mermaids use a lot of things which have the shape of bubbles. Um, and yeah, this is just a really great manga. Uh, I'm loving this one. I can highly recommend you if you like uh, fantasy stories and seinen manga. And the art is also absolutely superb. This is a great manga. Then I got the first volume of Supa no Urade Iani Suftari. This is a very enjoyable seinen rom-com about the dude in his 40s who actually is quite smitten by a girl who works in a convenience store and then he meets apparently another girl who is a bit the opposite she's uh she's smoking she's not very ladylike and the girl he's interested in well he he gets comfort after a hard day's work is a very polite cashier uh, he doesn't know that the other girl is actually her yeah i'm looking forward to continue reading this one i think at the moment it's a small hit this is i think the last volume it's finished yes this is a uh, tanuki to kitsune to satogurashi it's the last volume, this is an interesting slice of life manga in the vein of Yotsubato uh, with this office worker uh, living in the countryside and then dealing with these two children who are actually Tanuki. Volumes 19 and volume 20 of uh, Maiko Sanchi no Makanai san, which was an anime last year. And this one is just a really great slice of life uh, rom com, no more slice of life series with a dash of drama and a lot of cooking, so you'll learn a lot about Japanese cooking. Unfortunately, the manga currently is on hiatus, uh, the reasons are unknown. I don't know what is uh, going on. I hope the author is not having uh, health issues. Then I got volumes two and the final volume of uh, Botsuichi, which is a seinen drama about a dude in his 40 who lost his wife and who starts to live in a share house. It looks like it's a, uh, a romantic manga, but it's not. It's really more about coping uh, it's a well well made manga, I like it and uh, I, I, I was glad having read this one. Then I got volume 6 and volume 7 of Kekkon Surute Honto Desu I've talked about that manga so I think you know what it is about. It's great, I love it. Then I got the latest volume of Boku no Tsumawa Kanjo Ganai which is also out in English so the story about the dude who married his household appliance slash robot. Very difficult to read in Japanese because it's chock full of text. Then I got the latest volume of Kimi wa Hokago Insomnia which is also great and I'm really expecting the anime to be great. I hope so really. And there will be also the live action movie. Finally the manga I've talked about in the last uh, video so I won't talk more about them. Seiso na furi wo shite ka volume 1, Neko no Mani Mani, then uh, no Chisana, Joshu San, and the first two volumes of Dump the Heel. Now I put all the French releases I got in the past three months on the table uh, next to the Japanese and English and German volumes. So uh, <laughs> yeah, you can tell I got a lot and a lot and a lot of volumes. I will try to make uh, an order as best as possible and then just talk you very quickly through the volumes I got. I managed to do an order. Uh, somehow according to the French publishers and I will more or less speed run through all my uh, latest uh, hauls of the French manga. So uh, let's start. First from French publisher Comic Editions I got Minuscule Volume 10. This is a really really comfy fantasy slice of life series. And I got uh, used Instant d'après by Daisuke Imai. Haven't read this one yet. And I got also by him. This is a newer manga 
by him, uh, Parker Volume 2, which is a romance series between a guy and a girl. She is actually a kappa, and uh, the boy also turns into a kappa. This was a quite interesting read. This is not comic editions anymore, but this is now Mangetsu, and I got another volume uh, by Mangetsu Editions, and this is Shigahime Volume 5, and this is the last volume of Shigahime, which is a horror uh, vampire manga. Then from the new label Crunchyroll, I got the first three volumes of Dan Dan. Um, I've read the first two volumes, haven't read the latest volume yet, and I gotta say, uh, I quite enjoyed it. I liked the content, it was fun, the relationship between the two leads is great, and uh, the art is great. Yeah, I will definitely continue buying this one. Now on to the publisher Kiyun. Kiyun uh, is one of the bigger French publishers. I got the first three volumes of Paru Itagaki's Beast Complex. Haven't started to read this one yet, but I mean it's by the author who uh, wrote, uh, you know, um, help me out, Beasters of course, Beasters. And I really love Beasters, so I probably will also enjoy Beast Complex. So the first three volumes are out in French, and I don't know if it's finished with volume three, I hope not so. So yeah, let's move on with other volumes by the French publisher Kyung. I got the latest volume of Tsugumi Project, which is a manga originally published first in France, which is interesting, uh, drawn by a Japanese artist, and it's also currently running so it's not finished yet then I got um, the first let me check the first four volumes of Shibuya Hill haven't started to read this one yet but I heard that it is supposedly a very fun ride this is a horror manga with a goldfish attacking Shibuya or really Tokyo in general I got so uh, the first four volumes used for a good price only one two three and four i'm intrigued by the art the cover look quite silly <laughs> yeah i'm curious about this manga i mean the idea of uh, giant goldfish attacking and eating people sounds fun to me then i got another series second hand uh, k sanbes echoes and i got the first five volumes for a good price i think it was 20 or 30 bucks instead of 8 bucks a piece and they are also in a good condition. Don't really know the content but I guess it's similar to Erased also by the same artist so a kind of psychological thriller. Volume 1, 2, 3, 4 and Five. Then I got a bunch of manga by the French publisher Soleil Manga. First I got the two uh, first volumes of Witch Watch. Uh, this was a very, very fun shonen comedy series. I really liked uh, the relationship between the two leads. She is a witch in training and he is um, an Oni. A demon in human form. Very, uh, He's uh, very strong. She's a kind of dizzy girl. Uh, she really wants to use her magic and each chapter has some great creativity and some great gags and uh, yeah I recommend you to read this one which watch then I got uh, the latest volumes of uh, Insomniacs or Insomniacs After School in English by Makoto Ojiro I got uh, the latest volume of La Pelle di Montagne a seinen manga about mountaineering and I got the first two volumes of a manga called La Vengeance du Souffre Douleur. Basically, this is a story about bullying. It's this dude, when he was younger, he was bullied at school. And he is, I think, taking revenge of his former bullier who has a daughter now in high school and she's being bullied and he happens to be her homeroom teacher and he knows that she's getting bullied but he doesn't help her he's just observing and you don't really know if he actually is also inciting some of the bullying it's a psychological thriller and so far I liked it I wouldn't call it great but it's it's quite okay now on to some manga by French publisher Vega I got volume 3 of Kakushi Goto, haven't read this one yet. Then I got vo volumes 4, 5 and 6 of uh, Manchuria Opium Squad. This is a great 
action scene in uh, suspense manga. Basically imagine Breaking Bad in 1940s China with characters from Japan and from China, some very likable characters. This is a really great series. I wish it would be also officially published in English. I can highly recommend you this one. On to some manga by the French publisher Mean. This is uh, volume 9 and then volume 10 of uh, Escala Yokohama, better known under the name uh, Yokohama Shopping Trip. The first volume is also out in English by Seven Seas. What can I say? I mean, this manga has, in my opinion, the best art. The covers are absolutely genius great i just love this one too bad that the print is not that good in uh, the english volume by seven seas but the french volume is has a good print so uh, let me show you just inside if you come close you see the details also in the shadows in the and in, in the gray area so uh, if you speak french uh, i mean if you read french then, uh, well, what are you waiting for? This is a release you should uh, pick up. Uh, then I got uh, something which is a little bit less sophisticated. I got the first volume of Uzaki-chan Wants to Hang Out uh, by Take. I mean, you probably know the manga, you know the anime. I think it's strange that the French publisher uses an English title. I mean, this is a funny rom-com. In the beginning I like it, but I think later it loses a bit of its flavor. Then I got My Tiny Senpai, again an English title. I don't know what's up with the French publisher Mayon. Why are you starting to use uh, English titles? Anyway, this is an office, office uh, rom-com. It's cute, it's fluffy, you don't have to think a lot about it. And then I got the latest and last volume of From the Children's Country. This is a survival uh, zombie manga, I think, apocalypse zombie survival manga. I'm looking forward to read this one. Uh, the art is also interesting. It's different from what you usually suspect from manga. Now to some manga I got used uh, by a French publisher which doesn't exist anymore. Uh, it's a publisher called Kanko. I got La Forêt de Miori by Hideji Oda. This is an interesting fantasy series. Um, this artist has a very peculiar art style which intrigues me, I like it. Then I got by the same artist by the way, I got uh, La Saison de Miori, so this is the continuation. And finally, also by the same artist, I got Le Epilogue Les Saisons de Miori. The first volume came out uh, without a dust cover, that was back in 2008. And then the last two volumes came out with a dust cover, which is interesting. See, there is a dust cover. I really like his art. It's great. And there's even a small manga underneath. Then on to the French publisher Kurokawa. I've got the latest volume of Spy Family. I've read it and I love it. Then I got a whole set, the complete set, I think, of a manga called Transparent which means transparent. I've read the first volume and this is quite interesting. It's a story of a girl who discovers one day that she can get transparent and she uses that to actually kill her abusive father and then she has to live with the guilt so she cannot really lead a normal uh, life then as a high school girl. It's quite interesting so far, the art is also great so check it out. Then I got used the complete set of Densha Otoko, these are three volumes by Hiden Orihara. This was actually a famous story back in the 2000s, Densha Otoko. This is a romance story of an otaku guy who one day meets this uh, lady in the train and then he starts to, you know, get in shape to become her boyfriend, well, to get into a relationship with her, and he gets all the tips how to improve himself in an online board. That was a big hit in the 2000s because it was apparently based on a real life story which happened online. Yeah, I'm about halfway through, so now on to three manga by a French publisher Akata. 
I got the first volume of Utsubora. I haven't read it yet, I have no idea what it is about. I mean, I was really intrigued by this cover. Then I got uh, the first volume of Hirai, La Fin du Voyage. I think I've started reading this one two months ago and I didn't quite like it, but I don't remember why. The, the cover art uh, really intrigued me. This looks great. I think this is a story of a man meeting a girl who wants to commit suicide. Uh, I don't know exactly why again. I think I should give this one another try. And finally I got volume 4 of Poison Quotidien by Minoru Furuya. And now on to many volumes by French publisher Neuwegraftsk, which is one of my favorite publisher because they have many great looking French releases which always contain a small card inside, a collector's card. First I got the second volume of Tonika Kukawai by Kenjiro Hata. Does she have a leash? Uh, no. No, it's not a leash. Anyway, this is a cute rom-com of a young married couple. Then I got volume 3 of Le Grimoire Écarlate. I have no idea right now of the official Japanese or English title. Then I got Girlfriend Girlfriend volume 1. Um, or better known under the name Kanojo Mo Kanojo. I think this was an anime recently, right? Last year. Then volume 5 of Cool Kyo Shinsha's Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Then Scum Swish. Um, yeah, Scum Swish is a drama. I think it was also an anime, right? This was like a sex drama more or less. What I really like about this French release is this shiny cover, which looks great. Then I got the first two volumes of La Maison de Maiko, which is none other than Maiko-san Chi no Makanai-san. haven't opened it yet, but I trust that it will be actually well translated and I got it because I am a collector. Please don't judge me, you know. Then I got the first volume of Nous irons. Manger du crabe. We are going to eat crab, which is a romantic drama series, an intriguing one. I think it's about adultery. Then I got On La Fait. I haven't read this one yet, still shrink wrapped. Uh, it's a manga which was, I think, recommended by the artist of Attack on Titan, I think. Well, that got me intrigued. Ah, uh, yes, here it's written in French. Le manga recommandé par Hajime Isayama. A Tales Tale by Mizu Sahara, the first volume. I was intrigued by the cover art. I got the first volume of La Grand Yahi, Père Jamais. Yahi something something. <laughs> That's a cute uh, comedy. It's not a rom com, it's a comedy manga. It's a very cute one. The French release is also well done. Uh, the cover art is cute and I like also actually the, the yellow. It, and it makes this manga stand out among other manga. Kenji Tsuruta's La Pomme de Apple. And Kenji Tsuruta is a great seinen artist. So yeah, I haven't read this one yet, but I have read other manga by Kenji Tsuruta. He's active since I think the late 80s and he has always this very interesting art with mostly naked women. <clears throat> then let's continue with some uh, different publishers. First by Omake Manga I got the first volume. Well, it's actually a one-shot called uh, Clover Cinderella. It's about the dude who's a rather unlucky with women. And then one day he meets her. She is a goddess of fortune. So yeah. Then by Ototo I got the first two volumes of My Ball used. And this one, I gotta say, this is a really <laughs> fun sports slash uh, fan service manga with great art actually and some really funny humor. Um, I was pleasantly surprised. I got it used, I think, four bucks a piece. I have no idea how many volumes there is of this manga, but some of the humor just, I'm, I mean, I really liked it. I'm usually not too much into this kind of fan service humor manga, but this one just got me and I liked the art. Then I 
got, uh, I think it's the latest and the last volume of South Love Unboxing. And this one is published by Doki Doki. Yeah, so I think I'm around volume 3 and 4, so I have a lot of to catch up. Then I got volume 10 of Candy and Cigarettes by Tomonori Inoue. This one is published by Kasterman. Uh, this one also I'm around volume 5 or 6, so I have a lot to catch up by a new publisher, a publisher called Kazuku by Michel Lafon. Uh, this is, uh, I think this is a fantasy manga about two high school who enter a realm of um, a shrine. And this has an interesting art because I'm not sure if the artist uses a lot of uh, computer graphics, CGI, um, yeah, it's interesting. I uh, remember having read the first volume, I liked it, but that was two months ago, so I don't really remember the details anymore. And the second volume got out in, uh, in back in November. Then I got the latest volume of Shadow's House by Somato, my volume 9. Haven't read this one yet because I'm still around volume 3 or 4, I think. I'm like waiting for the series to finish, then I will binge read it more or less. Then I got the latest volume of A Journey Beyond Heaven. Also the same story, I have a backlog, I'm around volume 2 even, I have a lot to catch up. I got the latest volume of L'Atelier des Sorciers, the same story, I have a big backlog, I have to wait. This manga has just a great, great art style with a lot of details. Also this one would be maybe a shame to binge read it, I should really take my time to read this manga. Okay, we have only 30 individual volumes left, we are soon at the end. Uh, first manga by the French publisher Nobi Nobi, I got the first three volumes of Au Grand Air second hand for a good price. I think I paid 10 bucks. You all know this manga, I guess. This is about camping. So uh, the English title is Yudu Camp. I got the first volume around 10, 11 years ago back in Japan and I liked it, but I never really uh, cared about buying the further volumes. Um, I also didn't care to buy uh, English releases and now I saw three volumes for a good price, I thought, yeah, why not? So, volume one, two, and then volume three. Teasing Master Takagi-san, this is volume 17. I got it, of course, already in Japanese. Let's continue. I got the second volume of A Quoi Tu Joues Ayumu, also by the same artist. Uh, this sticker, please ignore it. Yeah, I really like this uh, story. Of course, you know that I also have the English volumes. I am a collector, please don't touch me. <laughs> then let's continue. I got volume 7 and volume 8 of Mon Ami des Ténèbres by Taku Kawamura. It's a cute rom-com about this girl who is bullied well it sounds harsh but she's a bit bullied and then this guy actually helps her he doesn't realize it by just becoming friends with her this will also be an anime I think this year it would be interesting then I got the first volume of Père et Fille and this is quite interesting Maybe you remember, I shot a video earlier this year where I told you that I have the first two volumes of this manga in Japanese, but I haven't managed to get volume three for a long time and then I got it finally used. And now it's out in French, the first volume. And this is a really cute story about a single dad and his uh, daughter who starts uh, getting into puberty. Then I got some manga which are actually based on uh, Netflix, uh, anime currently running on Netflix. So movies. Uh, I got No Mots Comme Des Bulles. Uh, I think something with uh, Cider Bubble Up. Forgot the English title. I haven't read the manga yet, but I really liked uh, the movie. And then I got volume 2 and volume 3 of Loin de Moi, Près de Toi, which is none other than the manga adaption of the movie A Whisker Away. I've read the first volume, I thought it was okay, the art style is close to that of the movie. And finally I got a bunch by the French editor Kana, under the label Big Kana. I got the latest volume of Kowloon Generic Romance, then I got a Nuisible volume 2 and the last volume 3. This is a horror manga, I mean you can tell by the cover. Then I got the latest volume of Adabana by Non, which is a crime story of a high school girl who killed her best friend 
So she here killed her, haven't read it yet, it's still shrink wrapped. The first volume of the Yakuza's Guide to Babysitting by Tsukiya, which is what we which was an anime just recently. And finally I got a whole bunch of March comes in like a lion. I mean I got volume 3 until volume 16 and I love, I love, love, love the story. It is just a great seinen comedy drama about a young adult, a high schooler who is a professional shogi player and his life with uh, many people, especially with uh, a family consisting of three sisters. Volume 3... Four, five, six, and if you're asking and wondering if I got them new or used, I got them all new. I got them all new. I just had to get those. And uh, actually, they are not popular in France. Uh, at the store I usually buy, they don't have them in stock. Uh, and they told me, well, if you want them, you have to order them. So I went to another store which uh, had them all in stock. Well, 13, 14, just so lovely art, then 15, and the latest volume, volume 16. So this concludes this time's manga haul. I think in total I got 180 manga. As you saw, most of them are in French, but also uh, quite substantially in Japanese. I think I got 47 in Japanese and around 20, 25 in, 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 in German, I think. Well, anyway, first I want to say thank you for those of you who have watched until the bitter end of this video. And I also want to say thank you in general for having subscribed to my channel and also for giving comments to my videos. I really do appreciate it. Um, also, for next time, um, I'm still not sure if I should shoot a whole video of my collection because it takes a long time. I've just seen, I've just presented to you in a very quick fashion 180 manga and that took me a long time to do it. So imagine my whole collection. I still have to think about how I'm going to do it. Anyway, uh, again, thanks for watching until the end and I wish you, you know, Happy New Year!